much is this going to cost T-Mobile? I mean, free video streaming can't be cheap. Uh, Ali, well, listen, here, here's a few things. First of all, Uncarrier 10 here in L.A., these uh, Uncarrier moves have driven T-Mobile to capture more than 100% of all the postpaid growth in the industry over the last three years. So people wait for these events. What we did today is we doubled the size of all of our data buckets. We announced Family Match, which allows a family to all choose higher speed data, get twice as much at no extra cost. And we announced Binge On. So with Binge On, what we've done is we have optimized the data streams to your mobile device for what's required to watch DVD quality video, but not the extraneous huge wasted amounts of uh, data that come into your device. 24 companies to start, Netflix, Hulu, HBO, ESPN, etc. If you join and you opt in for Binge On, you will stream free, uh, not using your data buckets. And so far, the biggest question anybody's asking is, how are you doing this? I really want it. I like it. I kind of like it in that spot. It makes our competitors very nervous. Well, and talking about that, you know, your subscription growth has really been crushing uh, the competition, but you've been able to sustain your shrinking profit margins because you're able to sign up so many people. Uh, how many do you have to sign up right now to offset the big cost of doing streaming video? Yeah. Two things, Alex. First of all, somewhere in your sentence you said shrinking profit margins. Our growth and profitability has been huge, and our EBITDA margins actually were up 25% year over year. But they so are. So the profitability of the company, as announced in our last earnings. T true, uh, John, but our it, it is are not quite less. It, and in this it is case, less than Verizon, here, though. Well, it, it, you know why? Because Verizon are the biggest robbers in the world. They have the $2.4 billion in the industry of overage charges. There's $45 billion which are over-purchasing driven by these guys and $24 billion with the line charges. So it's low-hanging fruit. For us now, what we were able to do is optimize the video stream for what you need. And here's the real trick. It's highly profitable and beneficial for us because it's much better utilization of our network. Hmm. So ultimately, when I meet with investors, what you'll see is a very highly profitable business case, huge customer acquisition and better utilization of our network. So as I've used the slogan in an old commercial, it tastes great and it's less filling. It's both. And it actually could be, and it's proprietary technology, and I love where it sits right now, and I want people to think about how do they do this, but we do it. If you look at your average revenue per user sort of on this point, it is much lower than the competition because you're able to sign up so many subscribers. That's okay for you. What happens when you run out of levers to pull? How much more free stuff can you give me? Well, first of all, what the Uncarrier is about is solving customer pain points. That's what we do. Uncarrier 10 is a big pain point. It's day to day. And do you really think we'll run out of room uh, to solve pain points? Here's the most important part, Alex, which is that your questions are relative to Verizon and AT&T, who are losing customers incredibly. They have excess margins, and they're in a heap of trouble. Our profitability is growing beautifully, as is our cash flow, as is our revenue. The model works, and this move will not only grow our customer base, but it will increase our profitability relative to guys that are in big trouble. And most of what we're able to do is because of the way they do things, not focused on customers and gouging customers. We reach in and do them with a good return, but focused on customers, and that's who we are. But you see my point in my question, John, at some point, there's just not going to be enough things that you can offer customers to get me away from Verizon or AT&T when they are also trying now to compete uh, with you in price and also in benefits like video, for example. Yeah, and, and this isn't about price. They're not trying to compete with us on video. Verizon's focused on creating content. By the way, Go90, which is the Verizon platform, is free now on T-Mobile. We added DirecTV free. And what I would tell you is that in the last 11 quarters since we started this Uncarrier movement, we have controlled 102% of the industry. 
postpaid phone growth. This year alone, in 2015, we've controlled 150% of the growth, and last quarter, 126%. And we only have about 17% share. So, by the way, the times of the low-hanging fruit from AT&T and Verizon to us has a long lead way to go. And I bet you that there are millions of Verizon and AT&T customers right now getting ready to take their Go90 and their DirecTV on over to Bin John, and hopefully you're one of them. It is a catchy title, Bin John. I do like my scandal. Uh, now, you have said in the past, John, that uh, the industry is quite ripe for consolidation. What would be the qualifications that you look for to either do a JV with someone to consolidate? Uh, what's your game plan? Yep. Yeah, and, and uh, so your question is pertinent because what today was all about is, what I've said many times is that all content is going to the internet and all internet is going mobile. And this is a great example of how mobile devices are being used to pull down uh, content from the internet. And consolidation in the industry will happen amongst the players that are trying to participate in that continuum. So it'll either be players like us getting much bigger scale within the business that we play in mobile, or the broader continuum of the cable industry and content providers uh, moving tangentially into the industry that we're in. And things that are great for customers that leverage the brand of T-Mobile and are good for investors, we're interested in. Right now it's from a very strong position of strength and I think that's the most important place for our customers, employees, and investors to be strong and a great answer to the consolidation from a standpoint of who really is the growing brand in the mobile industry, which is us. So it's like you're on a date. You're like, come and talk to me and I'll see if I like you. All right.